Chelsea and in my kitchen today we're going to be making a salmon teriyaki. This is possibly the best dish to make if it's your first time with Japanese cooking. Not only is it super simple and super quick, but it also uses the four mainstay ingredients of Japanese cooking, which are soy sauce, mirin, sake, and sugar. So if you get the ingredients for salmon teriyaki, then you have the ingredients for so many other Japanese dishes. In my last video, I showed you how to make salmon teriyaki ravioli. But where would that ravioli be without the original traditional salmon teriyaki itself? There are a lot of small variations on salmon teriyaki out there, but today we're going to be covering the simplest and possibly most common way of cooking it in Japan. The only slight stray away from tradition is that we're going to be using butter instead of vegetable oil. You are of course welcome to use vegetable oil for the most authentic version of the recipe if you like, however that means that you will need to take out the salmon once it is done, then clean the pan before returning the salmon and the sauce to the pan. But by using the butter, then we can keep everything in the pan and the butter can form part of the sauce itself. I personally think that it makes the fish even tastier and gives a little bit of depth to the sauce. So let's see what we need for the salmon teriyaki. These are the ingredients for our salmon teriyaki lined up and ready to go. Today I'm using strong flour, but you can use all-purpose flour and you can also swap out the butter or margarine for vegetable oil. We're starting off by making the sauce. This is two tablespoons of soy sauce. One tablespoon of mirin. One tablespoon of sake. And one tablespoon of sugar. And that's it. Now all you have to do is stir. So let's put this to one side whilst we prepare our salmon. Oops. Now we're going to pat dry our salmon. So one and two. This step means that the salmon will have a nice crisper coating and will also be able to soak up some of the sauce a bit more easily. Then add some salt and pepper. Looks like I need to refill this. Remember to do this to both sides. And you can be quite sparing with the salt because our sauce is very salty. Then we're going to coat it in flour. The reason we do this is because it creates a light and crispy coating, while also sealing in the flavor and allowing the sauce to stick to the salmon more easily. This should be a fairly light coating so that we don't have a weird texture. You can replace this with potato starch if you like. So now using about a tablespoon or two of butter, we're going to fry up our fish. We're putting this on a medium high heat because we want to get a nice crisp outside, but the fish is very delicate, so don't put it on a super high heat. And once the pan is hot, add your fish. And we're just going to let this cook for about three minutes or until we can see that half of the fillet has cooked. So already we can see that the lighter pink is starting to creep up. So that has already gone halfway, so we're going to flip that over. If I can. Wow, come on. Okay, there we go. <laughs> These kind of thin fillets don't take long to cook at all. So you won't be able to see if it's cooked when you've got the skin on this side. So you can just kind of turn it around to see what's going on and whether the lighter pink has gone up the entire way. So that one's pretty much done. It's only been about two minutes on each side and they're already done. So now we're just going to add our teriyaki sauce. You can turn down the heat a little bit to avoid spattering. And then we just cook down the sauce until it gets a bit thick. The longer you cook the sauce, the thicker it will be. And once it's started to thicken a little bit, we're just going to flip them again so that they've got a nice coating. Oh, 
Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. And the sauce will thicken as it cools down, so do be careful about that. I think these have got a really nice glaze now, so I think we can actually turn off the heat. I like to eat this with a side of some kind of steamed vegetables and sometimes I even drizzle some of the sauce over the vegetables. I think that's a perfect complement to this dish. But for our salmon teriyaki, this is literally it. That's all you have to do. So now we've just got to plate it up and eat it up. This simple sauce means that it's perfect with any other simple sides such as miso soup or steamed vegetables. And of course, I always eat it with a bowl of white rice. If you were surprised by how quick that was, then give me a like. And if you were surprised by how quick and how tasty that looked, then hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.